Alright, thank you so much for tuning back in to another reaction video. My name is Chris. My name is Sam. We are Offset. Hello. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, I saw this one actually on Facebook. Made sure I didn't click on it because I knew instantly as soon as I saw the song and the, and the collaboration involved, we were going to have to do it on our channel. So I stayed away from it. Sam has is aware of the song. But obviously, hasn't listened yeah. to it in, in full length yet either. So pretty fresh reaction. Obviously, you see in the title, Ice Nine Kills and Real Big Fish. What the heck? Um, <laughs> I'll start there. That is a very weird mismatch. Ice Nine Kills, obviously known for their yeah, eclectic they're... metal-ish kind of brooding between clean and hard. Yeah. Like... They kind of had that... that a lot deviation. of aggression, a lot of energy. Yeah, but it's not anything like I don't think, I mean, Real Big Fish. I don't Fish. think I've actually heard Real Big Fish. Real Big Fish is real happy ska. Ah. Uh, very happy ska. Oh, It'd this, be is, like, this is going to be They did a song called what? Sell Out. Sell Out with me tonight. Sell Out. The record company's going to give me lots of money. Anyway, it's very <laughs> cheesy. It's kind of like very cheesy and upbeat. And it's it's clean ska. It's not like the hard, heavier ska. It's more like, eh, eh, eh. Real clean and lots of trumpets. Oh, yeah. very positive, mostly oh, major. I can, I can totally, I can totally see yeah. you know a song like "Walking on Sunshine" working out. As oh a yeah, it would be great as a ska song, but with an Ice Nine Kills crossover, and then what we've seen uh, from their videos in the past, which is a little bit horror adjacent. Yeah, a lot of it's you know, I mean, the videos are especially horror yeah. inspired. Like that one that we reacted to was uh, was from Pets, was inspired by Pets Pet Cemetery, Cemetery. Yeah. and then that truck comes up and it's like, oh my god, oh my god. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, but yeah, so they're doing, they're teaming up, they're uh, collaborating on a cover of all things, "Walking on Sunshine." Yep. Uh, I don't know where where to go with this. I've I have no idea how this is going to mesh together. I I mean, obviously, I've heard this song before. We've all, I think, all of us have heard "Walking on Sunshine." But the mismatch, how like who's gonna do what? This I have is no gonna idea. this is gonna be wild. It's gonna be pretty weird. We're gonna look at a couple comments and we'll jump in here. Featured on the American Psycho comic series soundtrack. Uh, I'm just reading in the description. Uh, okay. Okay, let's look at a couple comments here. Let's Don't see. it feel good? <laughs> Says I Stud Kill. Uh, a metalcore band that used to be a ska punk band collaborating with a ska punk band to make some sort of easy core ska fusion with some electronic elements cover of an 80s pop song that was in the soundtrack of a 2000s horror comedy set in the 80s based off of a 90s novel for the soundtrack of a 2020s comic series based on said movie. That should be in the, in the description. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Oh, thank you. Apologize for the audio in mono. We are working on getting it corrected. Oh, okay, so they had it in audio. Hopefully they did get it corrected. Hope it's not in mono. That would be awful. Barrett not having a head full of black hair and long sideburns is killing my soul. That is kind of weird. Uh, one more. This makes sense considering how Ice Nine's Kill started off as a ska band. I love how they did this. Okay, well, let's jump into this All one. Alrighty, I am intrigued. <laughs> And for any other one, and for anyone else out there who's also intrigued and is jumping in for the very first time, welcome to the channel. Welcome indeed. We've done a bunch of Ice Nine Kills. Uh, we don't do really, I've been, uh, Real Big Fish, I feel like, is just part of my childhood at this point, and uh, it would make no sense for us to actually have them on the channel, although I do know who they are, and I've been listening to them for a long time. I didn't start, I stopped listening to them probably after... Um, why do they rock so hard? I think anything after that, I didn't really... I think I listened to Cheer Up a little bit and didn't really quite get into it. But that's neither here nor there. But we're checking out this one. Yep. But if you're not new to the channel... You know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's time for... The Glorious. The Epic. Transition! <laughs> All right. All right, leave these bad boys on. We're walking on sunshine. Whoa! <laughs> uh, that's, that's about as good as we can expect this is going to sound we have no idea and here we go i like how oh like empty old school mtv my pain is everlasting and vicious and i want that pain to be inflicted on others yes what the crap? Oh, that's that's in reference like that. That's like a very iconic scene in American Psycho when Christian Bale's character Patrick Bateman puts the, like that skin peel, that uh, face peel on it, and then he's doing like some sort of inner monologue. You know, that's kind of like it really showcases who his character really is, and he peels off that layer. And I think I need to go watch this movie apparently because <laughs> I don't think I've seen it. It's 
it's a trip. Yeah, for a day, yes. You know, it's there's a lot of like there's a lot. It's yeah. I, I don't want to spoil it. My pain is everlasting and vicious. <laughs> I don't want that pain to be inflicted on others. <laughs> this is not an exit. exit. What the heck is happening? Now you might not. Now the average listener might not think at first that the really like the downtuned guitars and the you know the trombone and the saxophones and the trumpets and stuff would not meld together. Yeah. But they do. Well, you do if you play it right. Yes. Yeah. And they are playing it perfectly. This is so cool. Now that I think about the song, I think it did have perco- uh, it had horns in it, didn't it? Yeah. So yeah, so. so it makes sense that the song. I think we're so used to hearing the original song that it doesn't sound out of place. I think in any other context, if this wasn't a cover, then we might have a little bit more of a weird time with it. But since we know the song, we know that boom, bang, ba boom, bam, ba ba is supposed to be there. Yeah, it doesn't sound bad because you're like, oh, that's how the song goes. So I think it lends itself perfectly to this type of mashup because you we did have those lines in the original song, so it's not out of place. I think if anything, there's one thing that's out of place, and it's the low low tuned guitars. You know, that's the one thing I think that's out of place, of course, with the drum beats and everything. But the the vocal and the melody isn't too straving, straving too far. I have no, like, oh, actually, it would have been. It's almost the same. Well, we're, we're still, there's still two minutes left in the, yeah. go away, fly. There's still two minutes left in the in the actual video, so they could surprise us. Yeah. All right. Here we go. I don't want to spend my whole life just waiting for you. Nice. All right. 
I see. Yeah, I told I told you they bring in some of the harsh vocals, but they it, they weren't like they were kind of tucked back. They yeah, they were kind of tucked back. They weren't like so in your face. It was a, it was actually a very healthy blend of the Clean. of the upbeat, you know, well, you know, the woes. Mm -hmm. the <laughs> no. the clean i think the most of the the screaming vocals were tucked behind another clean vocal so yeah, it, it kind of lessens its harshness and it was, it, also, it was a great blend of like you know like, like staying true to, like there's enough elements that are consistent with the original song you know like with the with the trumpets and everything mm -hmm. but they blended it very well with the with, you know with their guitars and i could see this song being on like a pop goes punk comp compilation album or something yeah, because uh, that's I think like this would ex this is exactly what that is. It's what it would not surprise pop rock or something. It would not pop. surprise me if if that were already the case. Yeah, like if there were like I know of the the compilation series of Punk Goes Pop. Yeah, but I don't I don't know for certain if this is already on. One no, of those I don't. I don't think it is. Well, I mean, if it is, it we, it would have been a new compilation. But yeah, I could definitely see it on there. There's if uh, not, they should. Yeah, Pop Post Ghost Punk was one of the the biggest things when I was younger too. Or we'd love to hear like remade songs in pop punk and you know and, and pop rock and stuff. So. I think it would fit wonderfully there. Very cool to see uh, Aaron from Real Big Fish singing with uh, from the guys from Nice uh, Ice Nine Kills. It looks like it was mostly their band with this Aaron kind of a feature on it. I don't feel like the whole band from Real Big Fish was in there, but you guys can let us know if you if that's not the case. Uh, I'd be curious to know more. Uh, if you like any either of these two, I have spent a while with the Real Big Fish. If they have new stuff that you want us to see on the channel, we'll check them out. Uh, yeah, it'll be, a, it'll be a trip down memory lane for for Chris especially. Yeah. Well, if it's new, then we wouldn't. I wouldn't have never seen it before. So we'll see if there's new stuff out there that's worth checking out. Let us know. Oh, I mean, delving back into a band that you listen to a lot. Oh, yeah, right, right. And then Ice Nine Kills. Of course, we've done a few more. If there's more like this you want us to check out, make yeah, sure. Yeah, whether it's another them. fun, like, super fun music video like this or, yeah. or anything live, you know. Yeah, we haven't done anything live yet with them yet. So let us know. Uh, we'll be happy to check out either. Yeah. But in the meantime, we are Offset, Offset Era. Era. We are two thirds of Offset Era, Southwest Florida's premier punk core three piece. That's right. We have an extensive playlist of all of our original music. If you're curious as to how we sound and what punk core entails, yep. And a fun, fresh, fully powerful six track EP that's been out now for a couple of months called Top Shelf Villain. It's all out on all digital streaming platforms. So go check it out. We also have Facebook and Instagram. Make sure you follow us and there. And Patreon. And Patreon. If you're interested in following us, you can do that there as well. Yep. And we have shows coming up. That's right. Saturday, August 10th, we're going to be at the Herd Opera House in Arcadia, Florida with The Dude, Six Eyes, and On the Fence. Yep. Going to be a great show. Can't wait for that one. Yeah, and they finally installed, they were finally able to install central air conditioning. AC, yes! I know. Like, <laughs> I know, like, a lot, like, there are some people that might say, oh, that's such a first world problem. Like, no air conditioning or... right. But oh my god! Like I mean, we're in it, Florida, guys. We're in Florida. It's summertime. <laughs> it's not fun. Air conditioning is. Uh, we uh, we fully acknowledge that air conditioning is a luxury that not everybody is able to have. Right. So we sincerely appreciate the access to cool, fresh air. Yes. When it is triple digits outside. Exactly. Uh, we also have another show coming up at Rackham's. Rackham Spirits and Times. Yep. With uh, Cruel Curses and Nine Soft. Yes. The or newer band, S O F, Nine Minus. Soft. Yeah, I listen to them. They're kind of like an indie band, and then of course, of course, Cruel Curses is kind of like a melodic kind of heavy band as yeah, well. So it's so. gonna be it's gonna be a really cool, interesting, eclectic mix. Yeah. Uh, for that night, and that's gonna be us celebrating ten years. Ten years, yes, a long time playing together. Yeah, Sam's been about for four of those years. October will be four years. And that's a long time for us to be playing as a band. So we're really excited to be still doing this. And Rackham's was one of the first places. Actually, it is the first place we played as a band. So yeah. me and well, Vince. it was just you and Vince as a two piece. As a two piece piece and then they came to their senses and decided to become a three-piece with me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we've been working out well as a three-piece as opposed to a hair piece a four-piece a cod piece or a time piece <laughs> okay <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> all right well that being said that's the end of this video thank you again for liking commenting and subscribing let us know what you want to see in the next one and we will see you then see you there peace out